Hi and welcome to the Data Pitman channel. Uh, still early in the morning in Brazil. I'm having my coffee. Uh, but there was a question in the Gaffy Facebook group about how to filter labels and this is a very common question. So I decided to make a short video to explain this. Okay? Well, first of all, let's just change here to a view where you can see uh, the Gethy starting page. And at first I'm going to open, um, well, a sample, to Le Miserable sample, very common sample to use. And as you can see in the sample, you have some attributed colors to some groups here. Uh, and if I just click here to see the labels, I see all the labels here. Okay. Um, to filter the labels, first of all, you have to filter your graph. So let's see how this was filtered in some way. Uh, in colors partition, the attribute was modularity class. As you can see here, if I apply this modularity class, it will change just the colors because of the palette. But you can see the groups are clear here. So you can filter your labels with anything that you want but you must first use the filters tab here choose the kind of filter you want to apply so let's say i'm going to use as an attribute equal to modularity class here and drag it to the queries and here i can just say that i want uh let's say the um, let's choose this one the number eight here okay this is the modularity class number eight with this color here and I'm going to say that I want the number with A here and filter. And as you can see now, I have the graph with only this uh, cluster composed by the ones that are uh, identified with the modularity class 8. So there's a very short letter here, very small letter here, that if I just uh, put my mouse over to see the tooltip, you can see that high the nodes edges, labels, if not filter it in graph, okay? I just click this and afterwards I stop the filter. And you have now just the labels related to your last filter. If I go to the preview visualization and put here in a way, uh, let's be just solve this. There's a video explaining how to solve this issue too when you have your labels behind the nodes. And there you go. This is not ob obviously the best setting of for this label size and so, but we can just do some small adjustments here. And, and, and there you go. Something like this. Okay, and as you can see, I just had the labels for the nodes uh, that I that has the that are part of the cluster number eight here. Uh, you can also choose any kind of filter that you want. I just it's more common that people would like to make a, a filter, apply a filter based on, for example, degree range. So in this case, I just will take a look on the topology here. Uh, I'm just going to remove this query and I put the degree range here and then I set the degree range so that I will have let's say 17 here uh, nodes that will have uh, their labels and filter and apply and as you can see now it's set it to these nodes here I'm going to stop and there you go. Sorry, I, I said uh, 17 nodes. No, it's uh, at the gray range of 17. That means four nodes. And if I go to the preview here, you can see that just the bigger nodes will have the labels and the small nodes will not. Okay. I hope this solved uh, the issue that was uh, posted at the um, Facebook Gephi page and help other users. If you have any question about Gephi, uh, Voss Viewer, or uh, digital methods tools or something like that, 
just leave in the comments if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe okay so that the channel can grow bigger i normally produce videos in portuguese and english and probably will start to do some in spanish so if you would like to see spanish content obviously i'm not a, sp a spanish speaker i will do it in what we call portugal but just leave a comment below too okay see you next time bye bye